calling in the creator to the CEO who crave creating community and cash to create it like a boss. With me, Katrina Julia, as your host, multi-passionate entrepreneur, creator, and CEO who has walked from fear to faith, self-hate to love, corporate to calling, and continues to with experience in seven plus industries, 7,000 plus creators, and startups, two creators, to Fortune 500 brands, including Google, NBC, Victoria's Secret, and more. If you are ready to create it like never before in faith, wellness, wealth, marketing, business, travel, and more, this is the show for you. If this is your time to have freedom in all forms as you create it like a boss, let's create it. Welcome to the Creator CEO Confessions for July. So I am a bit late. Please forgive me and you're going to understand as to why as I coined July, jumping July, because it literally was just that for me as we entered in the second half of 2024. If this is your first time tuning in to my Creator CEO Confessions, I share all the things from faith to wellness to wealth to marketing to business to travel to community and the real talk of hashtag behind the scenes of a Creator CEO, aka Creator CEO Confessions. So how did you feel or how do you feel about the first seven months of 2024 and now as we're in August or depending on when you are tuning in to this episode. So I aligned with jumping in July from Austria to USA to Asia. This included time in Austria with family, Disney World and Animal Kingdom with family, Herbalife Nutrition Extravaganza aka the Super Bowl event of the year, And jumping back to Bali. So you can literally see why I coined this July a jumping July. I started my month in Austria with wrapping up a month with family in Vienna. During my time in Austria, the whole family got together for Father's Day on the Danube River with my mom and my dad and my brother and his family. So that started in June. We visited Studio 57, the Rose Garden, and Stefan Platz during my month in Austria, which went from June to mid-July-ish. I joined Fit One, an incredible two-story gym with a sauna and a hydro massage bed. What the F? Like, seriously, you guys. And you did not have to pay extra to use the hydro uh, bed massage or hydro massage bed. And you could literally lay there for 15-minute increments, uh, or and repeat them, which I definitely did. All you had to do was go in and out the door. So on June 10th, I left for flights to, sorry, on July 10th, that was a typo on my newsletter, I left, or on the email, I left for flights to Venice and Istanbul in route to New York. From New York, I hopped to Orlando. I initially thought I would take the train and spend time in Venice. However, hashtag life, and I noticed to increase clearing complexity and calm and chaos, which sometimes we either may do out of fear or frustration or self-sabotage. And sometimes it's the necessary part before we up-level into the next version of us, the next version of our lives. I tend to notice as I look back at my life that usually right before a breakthrough or oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes before a breakthrough, there was a lot of complexity, chaos, and confusion. And I believe our creator often likes it like that so that we cannot rely on ourselves. Uh, So, I spent July 13th at Disney World's Animal Kingdom with my brother and his family. That was my first, the first time for my niece and nephew in the U.S. During my time in Orlando and my first time back in USA after almost a year-ish, I received shipments from TikTok shop for content, upgraded my iPhone, and ran other errands. On July 17th, I flew to Minnesota for the annual Herbalife Number 1 Global Nutritional Brand 
live event with Extravaganza, the AKA the Super Bowl event. And uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought because for some reason, when I'm sitting at these bungalows, I'm in Ubud right now in Bali, and I start recording something, this bee come, tends to come around. It happened like last week, and now I went to a different place, and now like exact time I'm recording, the bee was back. Okay, I digress. So it felt so good to be back in the building in real life. Uh, so if you're curious about Herbalife, I definitely recommend you head on over to fitlifecreation.com backslash freebies. You can dive into the meal plan. And if you're ready for it and you definitely want to jump into a seven day challenge with health, wealth, and business, definitely check that out at bit.ly backslash seven day challenge intro. You can find that on the link in the show notes too. And the B is back. Last time I had to swat it away. Oh my God. And my computer's on my lap. It's scaring me because it's coming closer and closer to me. Get away from me. You guys are probably going to crack up. And I do not want to drop my computer. Why? Like what the? No. Get away. Oh my God. This podcast episode is going to be hilarious. Okay. It flew away. Like let me record in peace, dude. What do you want to do? Like lay on me? Okay. So I left on July 23rd from Minnesota to San Francisco to Singapore. Phew. Like the Minnesota to San Fran flight, I think was about three hours. And then San Fran to Singapore was a 16 hour direct flight. Oh my God. It's the longest flight I've ever taken. And part of me loved it because you don't have to move other than move around the plane. But part of me was like, oh my God, where am I getting off this beast? Okay. So to Bali, 1.5 days later, travel complications, hashtag life. If you followed along for a while, you know that I usually travel at a much slower pace. So this is definitely outside my norm. And the last two weeks were cray. Those last two weeks or that two week period was cray to say the least. My body Definitely let me know. Like, what are you doing? I usually never get sick. And after travel in Disney World, I was wiped out for almost two days and got sick. Then after arriving in Bali on the 25th or 26th, I digress because I ended up arriving a day later with the time and the delays in Singapore with a crazy airline that wanted me to pay $250 for an extra bag, a batik, don't fly them, and uh, upgrade a business class, forcing, trying to force me to upgrade a business class, pay $250 for one bag that they were only going to check to Kuala Lumpur halfway to my flight, uh, halfway through my travels to Bali. I was like, let me repeat what you just said. And it was two people standing there. Like it was the completely the most normal thing in the world. I, I don't know if they've only worked for that airline and they just think that's normal and that's how everyone operates. Uh, so I had booked them through Priceline. So do not fly Batik Air unless you want to be surprised with tr an attempt at a forced upgrade. So needless to say, I canceled that flight, stayed at Singapore Airport through so many different adventures, like a rooftop pool, like a mini sleeping bed room with a transit uh, ambassador, which was amazing, like exploring the canopy walk, like exploring the jewel, the mall, the jewel Chang mall, and so much more. So in any event, um, I stayed at the airport. I rebooked a flight for the next day with KLM and it was cheaper for me to rebook or book another flight literally the next day. I think it was 150 or 170, uh, all luggage included, no drama, no trauma. Uh, and so after arriving in Bali, either let me look at my calendar because on my visa, now that I'm thinking about it, I just renewed my visa for Bali for another month. I think I arrived literally on the 26th. I did. I arrived on the 26th. I was supposed to arrive on the 25th. So that was a typo between all my craziness that I missed. Hashtag I am human. But I caught it now. So I was super low energy and vibes for about two to three days. I am definitely not repeating that vibe again for more reasons than one. I completed The Keys to the Kingdom by Alison Armstrong, which is an amazing book. And definitely recommend it. I'm going to add it to my Amazon list. You can see that in the link in the show notes. I am an Amazon influencer now as well. And Attracting Your Husband course by Janelle Lene. I started the Shadow Work Journal, which is also in my uh, Amazon list. And also I share about it on my stories and our TikTok. I completed 12,000 minutes of workouts, including Fit One Gym in Austria, which I loved, and workouts that I tracked on the Peloton workout app. Uh, 
My word, if you haven't tuned in in the past, I started aligning to a word every year back in 2017, I believe, or 2018, once I read the one word or get one word book. And they always come to me in different ways, shapes, and forms, and always divinely downloaded. And I knew last year in October already that my word for this year is worthy. And all the things that are in opposition of being worthy, spirit, soul, mind, and body, being worthy of love, being worthy of abundance, being worthy of wellness, of wealth, of travel, of adventure, all the things in opposition of that have been coming up all year. And my alignment and my abundance in action has also been elevating exponentially through a variety of different ways, whether it's been prayer, it's been meditation, it's been EFT, it's been purification ceremonies, it's been breath work, it's been shadow work, it's been heavily investing time on vision. I'm doing an incredible course right now in Mind Valley with uh, Regan Hillier, a quest, and a lot of it is all about vision. So at the same time, misalignment and self-sabotage is coming up to the surface for healing. Also in July, I reached $1.8 million in business-to-business proposals and aligning business-to-business to to consumer B2B2C launches, including creator bundles with 80-plus creators, so that span through June and July, over 12 emails, over seven shows, over two blogs, over... um, which uh, definitely my shows decreased because once I started traveling mid-July, uh, that shifted a lot. I don't think I did any shows after that. I talked about that, I think, the last episode or the episode before that. No, two ep- two or three episodes before. Uh, and 25 plus social media posts. And the only reason I was going to say, you guys, I'm so uber consistent on social is I have over 90 to 100 drafts literally in Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, and I repurpose, and I use Opus Clip with AI from long-form videos. Like, it's crazy the overflow of content. I'm welcoming in and inviting and allowing and praying for abundance like that in every area of life. Part of my focus, actually, in August is to clear so much of that content, and part of my focus in August going into September is to post at least six... uh, I already post six to seven times a week and usually one at least to two, sometimes to three times a day. However, I'm accelerating that between four to seven times a day. A, to align and make momentum. So A, to align. B, to make momentum. C, to clear the content and to create space for more. Um, So I literally just cleared before recording this episode, which part of my focus is clearing and recording episodes right now for aligning to obviously like the creator CEO confessions, my creator to cash flash sale, and then Bali real estate, some other things coming up. But also like I cleared my phone. My phone now has, as far as my videos slash photos, has under 60 on that that are on my phone. And at least 10 of them are about to be cleared. And then at least about 20 of them have are strictly have to do with vision like focusing on vision of what I'm creating. Like for example, one is a snapshot of a bank account that has over like a million dollars in a business or close to a million dollars in a business checking, um, over 700K in like a business savings. And of course that's not even talking about the personal side as well. So um, I digress, but I felt like that was important to tell you. And so um, I launched, launched the seven day challenge last month as well. And then also integrated the creator to cash in two bundles like I talked about. So I increased pitching brands with Kajabi experts along my creator CMO uh, program. And um, I also got the idea or the divine download uh, about a week or so ago. And I shared this with the Kajabi team. If you don't know what Kajabi is, it's an all-in-one marketing platform. That's where all my webinars are. That's where my freebies are. That's where my courses are. So when you experience the Kajabi landing page or the community behind the scenes, that's all Kajabi. And I am a Kajabi expert, I think since mid-year last year. And so I shared with the team, I think last week or the week before, last week, um, about that, hey, we should be able to add in our courses when people are asking for an expert that, hey, you can also get this course or I can also include this course in my proposal to working with me. So... um, That was one of the things, and that's what I'm including in my pitches as well. And um, 
Also, I increased potential partnerships with Bali Love Create Play Retreat coming up as well. In completing my vision 2024 outline in January of 2024, I identified three top priorities for 2024, including business to business with one-on-one clients, creator to CEO work, creators and co-living, and creator to CEO online experiences. However, What's interesting is as I'm recording this, you know, action begets action. As we create it, we clear it. As we create it, we receive it. As we create it, we we are open and available for more creations and we gain more wisdom. And that's why you hear so many people talking about aligned and massive action, whether that's inner and outer work. And One of the things that I've been realizing and really, really diving deep on the past week to two to three weeks, hello friend, there's a doggy that came to visit me. I don't have any food for you. He probably remembers, don't come in my room. He probably remembers me. I gave him food before. No, 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 there's nothing there on that plate. That's just ginger tea. The other one is called Batman. I don't know the name of this one. And he looks like he's wearing white socks. He's so close, cute. I'm sitting outside, you guys, literally as I record this, looking at rice fields out of my bungalow. Like this is part of what I used to dream too. So like I constantly, even when and how life is not aligned, constantly remind myself of limitless prayers come to life, a vision come to life of abundance that surrounds me that I am watching the same kind of views that millionaires and billionaires are watching. Like all those things in the midst of challenges and chaos and confusion and complexity that part of it I believe is part of my story and testimony and pain to purpose and part of it I am fully aware that I created out of chaos, out of self-sabotage, out of not feeling worthy, being, you know, not believing I was worthy, all those things. So anyway, I digressed because the dog um, came over here. So part of what's been happening in August already is I, one of the things I always ask myself is how can I free up my time? And part of what's been coming up is sometimes the challenges say in time zones and in maximizing my time. And, you know, increasing momentum and leveraging my time and scaling my time and more and more and more. I'm like, and I literally this, I literally put in this into action yesterday. Like, wait a minute. Why would you necessarily do one-on-one work when you already have the online courses and simply increase marketing them, increase sharing them, increase your passive, your movement from active to passive income and consistent income with the online courses you already have massively and you don't have to worry about a time zone. Because you can set it, schedule it, delegate it to a VA, automate it, all those things. And by doing so, you can have 20, 30, 50, 100, 1,000, 10,000, you know, 100,000, however many people in your online courses. So on Creator to Cash yesterday, I literally took off the one-on-one VIP um, option. In the flash sale, I hyper, I mean, I'm hyper focusing, which is going to be on the next episode, on um the course. And then of course, once you're in the creator to cash page, the landing page, you can see that there's a workbook option and a project management workbook option. And, but that VIP one-on-one option is gone because I realized in listening to lazy millionaire, lazy millionaire, my own divine downloads, my own guidance with the time zone in general, I'm like, wait a minute, why would you want to coordinate two to three to four meetings or, you know, with one person, one brand, say over two to three weeks, when you already have the content and the course and you want self-directed, self-motivated, you know, creators and CEOs that create it, that take the initiative, that have the drive, and then they can listen to it on whatever time zone because the course is already loaded. So so what I feel like is those top three priorities are migrating into um, essentially 300K plus in 2024 to align with retreats and courses. And to scale that 10x to 100x. And I already started researching and investigating how much it costs to buy like plots of land enough for say a bungalow. It's like $250 to lease that land. And I want to potentially build with sustainability in mind and build above the rice fields with. Okay, so back to business. And my friend Trey is sitting here. I'm recording my podcast and I have Trey and Malati. You want to sit over here too, Malati? 
So at this uh, Ubutsawa that I'm staying, you guys, um, it's such a beautiful family, Amy and Yoga. She's from Thailand. He's Balinese, and they have two twins. You're going to come sit here? Okay. Come sit here. Um, so, so this is definitely a different type of podcast I'm recording, but I feel like it's super authentic. So I have, how old are you? Uh, how old are you, Amalati? Malati, how old are you? How old? How old are you? Four. Okay. So it's Malati and Trey. Yeah, of course. And they're so cute. And they ran to me and hugged me when I came back this time. And now they're like glued to me. They like came to my bungalow. Yes, I'm working. No, no, no. Pink. Yes, I love pink. I love pink. So now they're sitting at my table. I was about to eat and I thought I was going to record a podcast. But I am recording a podcast. But my friends are also here enjoying and coloring. There are four, but she looks bigger. I thought you were a six, Malati. I thought you were a six or seven, but Trey is shorter. They're fraternal. Okay, so spiritually, and then we'll wrap up this episode. I stayed consistent in spiritual growth with prayers. It's actually going to be really short so I can enjoy my time with my friends and they're cooking my food. I stayed consistent in spiritual growth with prayers and listening to prayers in my own voice journaling, meditation, breath work, and EFT 15 plus times in July. I wasn't yet in a bood because I definitely did some uh, different spiritual experiences and purification here. So I'll be talking about that in uh, my August Creator CEO Confessions or sooner. I may do a day in the life or just share with you some of the elevation and transformation that's been happening. Physically, I reached 12,000 plus minutes of workouts in July. I went to an aerial yoga class in Austria that definitely challenged me. I stayed consistent with workouts the first half of July with Fit One in Austria and home workouts. The last half was definitely challenging. I maintained daily aligned action with Herbalife and healthy eating. Um, it's definitely been challenging with one of the travel projects I'm doing right now with I am staying healthy eating. And I am consistently eating and getting bars and different things. Um, however, my workouts have not been as consistent. I mean, I've definitely done nature and waterfall, et cetera. However, I am looking forward to my next place after this. I'm staying a week. Then the next place after that, I'm staying a week. And then the next place after that, a week. And then a month. So I'm definitely looking forward to more stability and um, gym time again. So I definitely loved having my gym time in Bali when I first arrived as well. So financially, I increased alignment, abundance, and actions from the inside out. I stayed calm and clear in July, even in the midst of chaos and complexities and confusion. So I'm definitely proud of myself for that, for staying grounded and not freaking out, which I definitely could have in the midst of several things. I continued to dive deep into under earners and debtors anonymous and completed steps 10 of 12. And completed my financial budget for the month and increased money dates three plus times a week. Digital marketing increased to about 15 plus emails with 30% plus open rates. 31,000 plus downloads on the show despite not uh, recording as many as I usually do. The 25 plus shorts on Instagram and on YouTube. You guys, I'm looking at rice fields and there's people riding by on bikes. So cute, this cafe. So I'm being more and doing less while increasing my intensity and focus, like 30 minutes by 30 minutes, hours by hours. So all of that. And I shared how I fed my soul with prayer, with diving deep into Transformation Church and the Overflow series is what I've been into right now between July into August. And actually the fruit series was July and now I'm in the Overflow series. Are fruitful, I should say, the fruitful in case you decide to Google it and also tune in and listen on their show or their pod, um, on their podcast. We are Transformation and are on their YouTube channel. Um, did increasingly EFT, hypnosis, breath work, have definitely been pouring more and more into me as well. Disney World, Herbalife Nutrition, travel from Austria to US to Asia, so the mental to playful was real. Quantum breath work with uh, QVIDA with Juan, who is the husband of Regan Hillier. So it's interesting that I am in her program right now, manifesting via Mind Value and lots of vision work. And then also in his breath work program. So the alignment is really interesting. Completed the Attract Your Husband course with Janelle Lene. 
Also participated avidly in brands meet cre creators. I typically set up time blocks every week, at least an hour. Uh, social curator with Jasmine Starr and also your travel influencer bag with Gabby at PAX Light. And I also shared about my first time on dating apps on the blog, on the podcast. So definitely check that out if you're curious about that and you haven't yet. If you are dating and or curious about the online apps, it was my it is my first time, literally the second or third month now. And I posted about it on Instagram. It's on the blog. It's on the show. So always be creating the ABCs of creating that came to me the other day. So definitely take a peek at my creator to cash flash sale. It is all on my Instagram. It is also on my email list. If you are on my email list, if you're not, what are you doing? And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so much. And bye. And um, that will be on an upcoming episode also. Actually, the next episode, I'm going to be talking about the creator to cash flash sale. So as always, create, transform, and inspire because you are born to.